Good morning, Cyber Friends. It's the Midi Man coming back at you again from Walker's Music. Yeah. Another word for the day. We give God this glory. We give Him the honor. And we do give Him the thanks for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. I tell you the truth, it was a pretty rough night last night, but thank be to God that it, it did cool thing down in sometimes these old aches to get you. But, you know, thanks be to God, we got a Heavenly Father who cares. And we can go to him and uh, just, if we just trust him. I um, I was uh, trying to get some things sort of situated, but it looked like to me I, 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 I ran into some obstacles. And uh, so I take it all in stride and then we're going to worry about that. We're going to give a big shout out to the YouTube family from... Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT. And I want to say that I'm I'm praying that our Brother Justice is be fine, doing well, and God has smiled on him as well as our Brother David Maxwell. We ask him you to continue to continue to pray. I I went back and I I went back last night and I um uh, I looked at some more our Papa JT videos. And I tell you, I I I, I get I get a real inspiration. I get inspired when I uh. When I uh, read and listen to anything that Papa JT, when he's when he says, in other words, he try to tell us the word of God, and uh, not many people gonna just tell you the truth like that, and I like that, and uh, whether I'm doing it or whether I'm guilty or not, is you know, the truth is just as truth as many man is guilty. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I feel about it, and I just have to get right where I'm wrong, and I ask God to help me do that. But anyway, I was thinking about some things. I, like I said last night, I just really couldn't get myself into to doing too much and everything. You know, these old aches were getting me. But uh, I did. Uh, I was. I happened to as going. I'll be always try to check out. Uh, uh, sometime I, I try to check out the uh, Jack Vinippi. Uh, I like to see him and his wife Rex They come on with the. Uh, they little segment about they do they do like the the news for the day God knew like for the day it's sort of like that program, and uh, I can't think of it uh, I can't think of the the the, uh, the actual name of the program right about now it just leaves me but anyway I, I didn't see it last night it didn't some reason it normally comes on one a.m. on a Monday but it didn't come on last night I don't know whether they done changed the program or it done been taken off the program you know. I don't know just just yet, but I'm gonna try to find out. But they call it Jack Van Ippy presents. That's what I think what they call. But at any rate, I did see Perry Stone, and uh, Perry Stone had a powerful teaching. He talking about the shofar, those are ram horn, as we know, and those are the trumpets in in the Jewish in the Jewish uh, tradition. Very interesting thing about the breath of God and how when God will come down to the temple. The tabernacle they had out there in the wilderness, how the the curtain would blow out. You, they could hear like a man breathing, and they could see the the breath and the wind and how it would do the curtains and everything. They knew God was there. Very awesome, awesome teaching. I tell you, I would I wish I could find that again, the whole thing. But at any rate, I was thinking, and then later on, about one thirty, uh, Creflo Dollar he came on. He started talking about Elijah. And about when he saw the, the cloud about the size of a man's hand. And I need to hurry up. I don't want to make this video too long, but this is some good stuff, people. And we just take heed to it. And he said, he sent his servant out. Servant looked over the sea and he said, I don't see nothing. In other words, we know Elijah told Ahab that it wasn't going to rain till he said it. And he told him it wasn't going to rain for the space of three and a half years and it didn't rain. Then he went back and he told him, he said, I'm okay, now it's going to rain. In other words, he was trying to get us to say what Jesus said, you have what you say, and don't if you don't doubt. Jesus said, you know, you can say to yonder's mountain, be thy removed and cast into the sea, and if you don't doubt and wave it, it'll obey you. So that's where that teaching was coming from. It. But when he said he sent his servant out there, and he said he went seven times, and on the seventh time, that's when he saw a cloud about the size of a man's hand. Now, that wasn't very big, was it? But it said it came to pass, and he just kept on repeating it came to pass, it came to pass. In other words, what we, if we just wait, if we wait on the law, it'll come to pass. That's what he was saying. 
that was he was trying to get everybody in Covey over to everybody. But anyway, I got up and I I didn't know why. What the, I, my mind got on some things, you know. The Holy Spirit took me. My mind was yet lingering on that, and I wondered why certain things be the certain like the way it is. You know, you you think you're doing the best you can. And really and truly, I believe sometimes some of us really be trying to do the best we can. But it still seems like things just don't quite work out. And then you wonder, so, well, well something, something got to be wrong. And so, believe it or not, God knows when I came back in, I went outside. I, I, I like I do my laundry. And I still love to hang my clothes out, get them sunshine and fresh air. Spirit of God came to me, and I thought about a scripture. I thought about the scripture about where you dig wells and there ain't nothing they dry. You, you, you try to get, but you can't keep. That's what came to my mind. So I know that it comes from the book of Haggai. So the Holy Spirit led me this morning. We're going to talk from the book of Haggai. And let us see why something worked for us. And for some, and then we go, and then we gonna see why things sometimes don't work. Let us go to the book of Haggai, and this is the word of God, now people. This is not me, the man. This is not me, the man. But this is what the Spirit of the Lord gave, told me to talk about this morning. If you go to the book of Haggai, the very first chapter, and let's start. Let's start right there at the, the very first chapter in the very the second verse and this is what it said this is the way it read and we got about six minutes into this video already we're going to try to keep it on the 15 thus speaketh the lord of hosts now listen now y'all who's speaking the lord of hosts thus speaketh the lord of hosts saying this people say this people say now he talking really now about the jews but it can apply to you too, because we are spiritual Jews. This, this people say the time is not come. The time that the Lord's house shall should be built. You see what he's saying? The time that the Lord's house should be built. He said these people say it ain't come yet. In other words, they trying to put it off. Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai. The prophet saying, is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses and this house lie waste? In other words, the prophet, the Lord asked the prophet, said now, okay, it's time for you now to get in your sealed houses. Your houses are sealed and you got all your stuff in your house. But yet and still, you want my house to lie here in waste. That's what God said. Okay, let's, let's move on. Now, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We finna find out now why some things ain't working. Consider your ways. You have... So much. See that? Some of us, we really give and we sow. Yeah, some, some people do. And bring in little. You see that? He said you sow much, but you bring in little. In other words, you plant a lot, but you ain't bringing in but a little bit. You eat, but you don't have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. In other words, you never quench your thirst. You clothe yourself, but there is none warm. And he that earned wages, earned wages to put into a bag with holes in it. See that? See that? This is the Lord speaking now, people. Thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Consider your ways. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified, say the Lord. Ye looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when you brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? Said the Lord of hosts, because of mine house that is waste, 
and you run every man into his own house. Therefore, the heaven over you is stayed from dew. In other words, the heaven over you is closed. And the earth is stayed from her fruit. In other words, the earth is not going to give you her fruit. Why? I have, And I call for a drought upon the land, and upon the mountains, and upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil. You know wine and oil, people, you know what that means, the Holy Spirit. Pouring out of the Holy Spirit, the anointing, and the oil mean the anointing. And upon that which the ground bring it forth, and upon men, and upon cattle, and upon all the labor of thy, of thy hand. You see God is saying, what he's saying now, people? He said, I called. Now, ain't nobody, ain't nobody else got you under nothing. God said, I done that. I got you up under this drought. I got you up under a closed heaven. Why? Because you didn't take care of my house. See, <laughs> amen. Let let God add a blessing to the readers, hears, and especially the doers of his word. Remember, people, I did a video. In every video, I tell y'all. And I mean, I'll be speaking more to many men than anybody because I'm guilty at sin. I'm guilty at sin. When you neglect God's work and try to get your done, God ain't going to hear that. <laughs> uh-uh. God ain't going to hear that, people. Now, let me let me explain something. I ain't got to explain nothing. This, this, the word of God just explained it to you. He told you plain today if anybody read Haggai from two verse chapter one from two all the way down to chapter verse eleven, it explained exactly why you having such a rough time. Why me the man having such a rough time? We up on the closed heaven. You see when you don't do but but now he ain't said nothing that now about no time. Did you see that? He ain't said nothing about no tide there now. He said, what, 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 what's the matter here? You done let my house lay in ways, but you got your house pretty. Have you noticed? The children of Israel, when they came out of Egypt, they didn't have no houses to dwell in. They dwelled in tents and everything out there in the wilderness. Well, God's tabernacle was out there too. You know, God gave Moses the instruction of how he was supposed to construct that tabernacle. And he did it just according to the plan that God gave him. This here video, I'm, it looked like to me, I might have to do a part two, people. But at any rate, God gave him this instruction on how to make that tabernacle and how to construct it and the stuff that he was supposed to put in it. This was a very, very blueprint of the way they were supposed to build the temple when they actually built the temple with foundation. The tent of meeting, in other words, the tent of tabernacle that was in the wilderness that the, the first temple that, that Solomon built was the exact replica. It was built according to the plan that Moses did in the wilderness. This is what God was trying to tell the children of Israel in the book of Haggai. Look, you, 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 you got out of the tents. You got yourself out of the tents and you built you a nice house. But you left my house out there that, the, in ruin. He said, that's how come I got heaven shut up over you. Consider your ways. And then he goes on to show you that you so much. And some people do. They sold plenty pretty good money. And different stuff. They really do. But you leave my house. You eat and you ain't full. You drink and you ain't satisfied. You clothe yourself and you ain't warm. You earn wages and it never enough. Because it's like you're putting money into a bag with holes in it. But so this is the Lord doing. This ain't the devil. You know, you hear people talking, you know, man, I don't know what the matter. I just can't keep the devil. Uh -huh, uh -huh, it ain't the devil. It's the law. That's what Haggai said. And then the law said it himself. Right there. Man, I'm going to tell you, this is an eye opener for a broke mid man, people. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a part two because I don't want this video to go over 15 minutes. So I'm going to do a part two on this teaching. But consider your ways. They say, oh, Israel, consider your ways. But that means you and me, too. It means you and me too, because we are spiritual Israel. Right now, we are spiritual Israel. Those that have washed their blood in the blood of the Lamb. With that being said, it's a man, and that will be a part two on this teaching. Saying peace, goodbye.